Hello everybody, I hope you're having an awesome day today. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make your very own merch for free. Let's get straight into it. First, what you're going to do is you're going to go to an internet browser and type in teespring.com. Just like that. And then you're going to find a page that looks something like this. Go to the top right corner and press login. Now you're going to create an account if you don't already have one by clicking create account up here. And then you just put in your credentials and then you press sign up. Or you could just press here and press continue with Google. Once you've logged in, you're going to see a page that looks something like this. Go to the top right corner and press start designing. Then it'll take you to a page that looks like this. So you're going to have to have a design. So if you don't have a design, make sure you make one. And make sure it's an original design because as you can see, I just got this bacon hair guy I took directly from Roblox. And then whenever I tried to upload it, it didn't work because it wasn't original. You have to like draw it or something to make it original. You can't just take it straight from a game and put it on your design. Cause then like you're getting money from something that's not even yours, you just took it straight from the game. So yeah, just make sure it's an original design. Don't make the same mistake as me. Sometimes you might even get copyrighted just for putting the title of a game in your title. So what I did right here is like Among You instead of Among Us. So do something like that just so that you make sure you don't get your product taken down. If you made an original design and it still won't let you upload it, try to contact their customer support because that happened to me before and it kind of sucks. So you can just email them. Their email is on screen right here or you can just go to the home page and go to the bottom right corner and uh, send them a message right here. I had one of my friends who's an artist make this, so if you don't know how to draw or something, you can have your friend do it. This is literally just gonna be a white box on your merch if you don't make it transparent. As you can see, it's like a bunch of whiteness. That's gonna be on your merch. So if you wanna make your image transparent, go to this website, the link's in the description. All you gotta do is upload your photo, and then you press background removal, and then you can select this or whatever you want, and Mine actually like gets screwed up for some reason. It does like something weird. So if you don't want it to look weird like that, you can also just upload right there and then press edit and then background transparent and then it should work from there. You can just select it and like select that and then just select everything that you want to make transparent. So that's a really cool website that's totally free that you can make your image transparent. And if you don't have a friend that can make the design for you, you can go to like Google Slides, which is completely free. That's where I like make a lot of my thumbnails. I just like search up some pictures. Also Canva is a really good one. That's how I got like this awesome text right here. YouTube thumbnails right there and logos right here. They have so many awesome things in here that are free. There are some pro ones, so just don't do the pro ones. Uh, and then you can like do a lot of these things for free. And I've also heard this website is a good website for thumbnails. I haven't tried it personally, but if you wanna give that a shot, the link will be in the description. All of these links to Canva, Google Slides, this website, and even Teespring will all be in the description below. Now that you got your design, search up on this page that we were at whatever you want to make. So if you want to make like a hoodie, search up hoodie or like a t-shirt, search up that. And then the cheapest hoodie that you can do to get the most profit is classic pullover hoodie. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. There's also premium. And the difference between these is the printing. So right here, I have one of my merch. It is the classic. So as you can see, like there's a reflection on it. It's like a different fabric like this is like uh just a soft material but this is like you can feel the print you can feel how they printed it on there that's the classic they just like print it on there and it's not as good compared to the premium right here this is like engraved into the fabric so this is like the soft fabric and this is also soft fabric you can barely tell a difference compared to the last one the the classic the first green hoodie right here this one is a lot cheaper all you got to do is turn it inside out whenever you like wash it and i think it's good i think uh it's better because you'd get more profit from it and you would also um, get really good uh, soft material just like the premium. It's just the way that the design is printed onto the hoodie which makes it a difference. So I personally like the classic pullover hoodie and what I'm talking about the profit, as you can see right here, I have $23.04 on what I'm selling this at and I have zero profit. All of this is going to the company Teespring who made the design. So. They make it for you. It's totally free, but they're getting some of the money from what the consumer pays. So let's say you have a $40 hoodie and the price where I get profit is 23 and four cents. So they get 23 and four cents out of that $40 and then I get the remainder of the $40. So I don't get the total $40. 
because the company that who makes it they get some of the money the profit starts at the 23 right here for the classic hoodie now for other designs like the premium hoodie like i was talking about it starts like way higher like 30 or something so that's why i'm saying this is better because you get more profit and it's like pr pretty much the same if the people who are buying your merch are like adults that have money then you can raise the price to like 40 dollars but i'm selling this to kids so i'm gonna keep it cheaper at around 30. so i'm not gonna get as much profit but at least i'm gonna get more sales and if i get more sales then the profit will start rolling in. So now that we got the prices down, you can press add image to put in your design or you can press add text. If you wanna add text to it, you can mess around with the fonts and stuff. That's what I did for one of my designs like this. I just added the halo on top right there. Uh, so yeah, you can just use the text or you can import the image right there. You can also just drag and drop your image. So now that you got the design on there, what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose the product color. So I just select every single color, unless like maybe, uh, like let's say there's white wings so maybe I might not want to do white because you can't really see it as well or like if it was yellow there's not a yellow option that's also the thing about the premium and the classic and stuff is there's different color options for different hoodies but I'm fine with having no yellow uh, especially for this design but anyways yeah you just select all the colors you want unless it like conflicts with your design I wouldn't put it on there the buyer can choose what they want and then you just select one to be the front view so like right here this is like royal that's the front view i put that there because i think that's the best color that matches my design so it will really catch that viewer's eye kind of like a thumbnail and with this front view if you want something on the back you can also do that so you could select the star which front or back you want you could just switch to the back right here so like if you wanted to add like angel wings or something you could do that on the back right there do whatever really defines that design so i'm gonna have that royal one thing i wanted to note is that there's only eu and us shipping so somebody that's not in the us or eu cannot order it because they won't ship it to them the eu prices are different from the us as you can see pounds it is in eu and then we already did the prices now press continue now that we did that, we can select styles on other things that we want to add it to. So if you want to add it to a tank top or if you want to add it to like a shirt. I like the premium tee because it has the colors that I want. Because like as you can see, these royals aren't the same. So make sure you keep in mind that different designs have different colors. Since it's premium print, then it's going to be more expensive. But I think it's worth it because it has better colors. So I'm just going to select that right there. You can press edit if you want to change the design at all. Like maybe you want this design to be a little bit smaller in the corner or something like that. I don't know. You design it, but make sure it's the same design because it's going to be in the same listing. So you don't want to have a bunch of different designs in the same listing. And as you can see right here, it says poor print quality. What this means is that it's either too big or too small or something. They can't print it. So you're going to have to like find that sweet spot where it either says great down here. If it's like really small, for some reason, it's better if it's small. I guess they don't have enough print things to make it this big. So make sure you find that perfect size. Uh, where it says good or great and then you're gonna be able to print it because if it says poor then you're not gonna be able to print it and it's just not gonna work out so make sure you have the right size for the print quality and also I just dragged and dropped this in and as you can see there's a lot of copies here so make sure that you don't have a bunch of copies just delete them it's okay just delete them if you do have copies so make sure you don't there's only one right here the reason why I dragged and dropped it in again is because it has the perfect size it has the biggest possible size whenever you drag and drop it so yeah that's a cool little tip right there now just continue doing the same steps that we did on the first one with all of the rest of the products you want to put this design on I'm gonna do this zip up hoodie right here and as you can see there's like this square box I didn't talk about this yet. The box, this little like red square, the dotted line, that is where you have to stay inside of. So you can go out like that. Uh, make sure the print call is good. You can go out like that, but that this isn't going to be in the design. Like as you can see, if you preview it, it's going to be like off. So make sure it's inside of the dotted red box so that you get all the design in whenever you print it. You can press preview right here to not have that red box right there. You just press preview you can see what it will look like 
And if that's good, then you just continue to do the same steps. And if you want to do joggers, these are going to look a little bit different. As you can see, like it has like the left leg and the belt and stuff. So put your design in the according spot. Again, you can press preview and it will show up right there. So that was the back. So right here on the front, it will show up. And make sure it's a little bit down from the thing. I have pants right here and like the shirt will come like over the design if you have the design way up here so make sure there's like room for the shirt to hang down uh, because sometimes the shirt will cover to my design I had pants before I put the design like way up here uh, like way up there and it covered the design with my sh my shirt cover the design so make sure you uh, plan accordingly on how long your shirt is or how long others shirt might be so put like a little bit room of your design down and joggers are really expensive, as you can see. 40 bucks is like no profit, so plan accordingly. Once you've selected everything that you want, you're gonna press continue. And then you're gonna title your listing, so I want this to be called Awesome Bacon Angel. There we go. And then you just add a description, and then don't worry about the front view if you have multiple designs, it's just what the first image buyer see. The URL should automatically be there uh, based off the title, and then make it public, private, or unlisted. Unlisted is just like, if somebody has a link, they can view it, but if they don't have the link, then they can't. And then private is only you can see it, so just pick one of those, and then select the store if you already have a store, you can do that. I'm sure you don't have a store already. You only have some random store with some random text. I'll talk about that in a minute. And then you press publish listing. It should have a screen that looks something like this. What you're gonna do is press continue. Then you're gonna go to the left and then you're gonna click on your username right here. So just AA, just click on that. I'm gonna click on that and go to dashboard. And then go to stores on the left. Here you can change the name of your store, so I just named it Awesome Angels Test because I'm on a new account because I didn't want to mess with anything on my real store. Make sure you save, and then you can go to store editor and you can do like a footer, uh, like right here, like I put like sub to Awesome Angels and then you can do something like a banner. Right here I have this huge banner right here for my store, so you could do that, select images, select it from your files. Then you can also do things uh, with the footer over here. You have like the colors, you can customize it and stuff. So just make it you and make sure you press save though before you do anything so that everything saves. Then you press like view store and then it will have what your store looks like right here. So there's the listing that I made really quickly. Uh, and yeah, as you advance your store and get more sales, you can find more things uh, to customize like specialty product so I clicked on it and like it has this request form that you fill out so if you get to this you unlock it just follow their instructions you have to have like the certain template and stuff they have the rules and everything right here they have video guides so check that out you'll be able to do hats and stuff so uh, yeah the requirements are really strict and you'll get declined if it does not meet the requirements. So make sure you go through, read the requirements, watch the video guides. You should be good and you just they'll send you an email and stuff and everything will be all right. If you want to check out my merch page, that will be linked in the description. You can use it as kind of a guide on prices and uh, placement of your products. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe for more awesome videos, and comment down below if you have any further questions. I hope I made it as simple and easy as possible for you guys. I know it can get kind of confusing, but if you watched the whole video, then hopefully you understood it all. Please drop a like and subscribe if I did help you out. And with all that said, don't forget to stay awesome like an angel. Bye.